Okay. So NWA starts to form. So they work on uh, Boys in the Hood. You're not there. Yeah. Originally, the group, well, originally the song was for a group called HBO. Yeah. East Coast group that didn't want it. Mm-hmm. Right. So then Dre convinces Easy to jump in the booth. Yeah. And I don't know do how it. he convinced him because he's not a rapper. He never wanted to. He was just about money. You know, I don't know how he did it, but it was his, it's just the sound he had. That sound. Then you got the look. Because he looked, everybody thought he was like 15 or something. Mm -hmm. And it was the look. And it just, that's what started it all right there. Yeah, he had the look. He had the voice. Yeah. And I remember uh, there was an interview that Ice Cube did where he called uh, Dre Dr. Frankenstein for turning (laughs) Easy e into a rapper. Yeah. Because Easy e didn't even want to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't. He couldn't battle nobody, no. Right. You better take pause and he battle you that way. But right. he just wasn't a rapper, that's all. Well, he was really offbeat initially. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's, he's offbeat, but he just couldn't get the, the rhythm in the, you know, he just had to learn it on the fly. Right. <laughs> um, when that song first came together, when you first heard uh, Boys in the Hood, what did you think? Did you think it was a hit? Or do you think it was like, eh, it's different? Who knows? Um, when I first heard it, I was like, like cussing on the, you know, like, well, okay, they cussing. I remember old Blowfly used to cuss, but that was just dirty records and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. cussing, but then it was different from the Wrecking Crew sound. So it was like, okay, that might work right there. I didn't, I know I'm like, it ain't gonna get on the radio, but that might work. It was completely different. It was sparse. It was a drum beat with like a, a yeah. guitar riff. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. You know, oh, yeah. A little bit of. Oh, yeah. You know, a little piano. A little just, bit of. Yeah. Like a little bit of piano. <laughs> whereas Turn Off the Lights was a produced. Yeah. yeah. You know, R&B yeah. later type of song. Okay. So that song comes together. And was NWA a group by that time or? Um, We really. Got together, it was right towards my little three month end of working. Only worked for three months, a valet. And I'm like, I never did this before. But by the time that ended, then it was a group. Okay. And, you know, Easy E basically made all his money off selling drugs during that time. I guess there was a situation where his brother got killed. It's his cousin. His cousin. His cousin got killed and I guess left him money or whatever. Whatever he left him. So he, he, he just started from there you know, in the streets or whatever he was doing. But he was, you know, he was a businessman. Yeah. He was about the business. I mean, I remember speaking to various people that were kind of around the situation. And uh, some people said he was a, a Kelly Park Crip. Other people said not so much. I mean, he he was from his neighborhood, but he wasn't a gang member. He was yeah. just a hustler. Yeah. That, that's what, it's, it's, a, it's a difference, a hustler and a gang member. He None of us was gang members. Right. 